Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is where we left. Uh oh, we get off, apparently. Oh, yeah. And our name is Ray, in case you forgot. And that is Zach. B3. Hello, Zach. I'm so glad we're back. What a stingy elevator. Just take us all the way to up instead of dropping us off at each fucking floor. Here we go again. Another elevator hunt. Yeah. Hey, I'm count on you. You're the brains of this operation. I'm the muscle in good looks. Make sure we get to the exit. Okay, I'll do everything in my power to make myself useful to you. Don't put it that way. That's all like, it's kinky. Just like you swore to God, once we escape this place, kill me. You sound like a broken record player. Don't gotta tell me again. It's locked. Wait a minute. Hey, that's not fair. It's locked, but this is the beginning of the floor. Oh my God, the bad guys have learned. Just like in Zelda, if you don't give them the boss key, how is Link supposed to progress? Oh no, oh no, he's milling. You poor little man. Hello, buddy Washwood here, and welcome back to Angels of Death, episode two. It's so nice to be back. I'm back from my trip. I've had a nice couple of streams. Oh, this has been so fun, but let's go ahead and keep going. Mr. Zack, will you please stop milling? It's going to be okay, sweet pea. What? Why are you doing that? You're like a dog, pacing. I said what? Unbutton your lips. Even if I told you, I'm not sure you would, uh, understand. Oh. Who knows? But I won't unless you spit it out. Okay, I think you're hot. It's not unlocked. There's nothing else in this room, so it doesn't bode well for us. Just, like, jump over the... Just jump over it. Does it go up to the ceiling? Break it. Break it with your side. Matt? If you don't have a clue, then why in the hell would I? I thought you'd say that. Aren't you skilled at unlocking stuff? Good luck with that. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I just remembered that I am. For the time being, I'll take another look at the door. Okay, talk to him again. Just hurry up and do whatever you need to do. Bap, bap, bap. This floor is starting to give me the creeps. I know, it's like all nice and stuff. Talk to the camera. Don't talk to the camera. Talk to B3. It says B3. All right, keep going. The door is locked. Oh my God. Wow, this game is just playing itself, isn't it? I had a feeling it wouldn't open. What are we gonna do? Give up. We tried. God damn it. Is there something in my handbag? But this is. You can use your sewing kit? Hey. Hey, it still won't budge. Nope. You've been eyeballing your bag for a while. What's that about? I thought there'd be something to unlock it. Oh, so what's inside that bag of yours anyways? You, you can't look at my purse, it's a girl rule. Um, thread, a needle, and a key to the door. You don't say. Can you pick a lock with a needle? Um, I have no idea how to pick locks. Besides, this door has no keyhole. Oh, well, a lot of good some thread and needle is gonna do us then, huh? Get out of my way. I'll smash it open. Oh. This door is reinforced with iron bars. Can it? I won't know unless I try, damn it. What? Yeah, shit, it's hard as a rock. Hard as iron, to be precise. Why didn't you tell me that? Now my hands are all numb! I mentioned iron bars. Huh? What the fuck? Uh-oh. Oh, God. Hey, get back! What? What? Oh. Bullets. Our one true pairing protected us.
Planning to turn us into Swiss cheese, huh? <laughs> Sorry, the welcome party took so long. I guess I sort of dozed off watching your idiotic antics. Still, it's a wonder you survived. <laughs> Especially you, Zack. Bravo to your resourcefulness. Truth be told, I've always had faith that you'd blossom into such a lovely sinner. What? All this talk about anticipation heads my sleepy peepers wide awake. No, God, not peepers! No! Oh, God. What's with all the peeper talk? That's we That's weird. I don't give a flying fuck about your sleeping habits. Shut the hell up and let us through. <laughs> Very well, you've earned it. Oh, okay. That makes this a lot easier. Yep, you've earned it. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. I am the condemner. Oh, godless wretches. You shall ride the agony until forgiven. For that is my devoir. It's like a girl meditin. Godless wretches. Bullshit. Saying whatever the hell she wants. Talking to like... Oh, talking like God said her himself and shit. Why do I gotta be punished this way? Oh, and my bullshit. Ometer? Oh, bullshit ometer is already paying it off the scale, so lay off. Okay. Hey, Ray. The door's open. Let's get a move on. Okay, you got it. Let's get a move on. But first, we're going to save. That was the most interesting first room I think we've ever had. I'm a little confused about these bullet things, though. Where in the world did they come from? And why were they shooting at us? It must have been the lady. She set up a trap. Because I did. she wasn't physically there, right? So she had to, like, I don't know, just look through a camera and start it or something. Go through here. The door is locked. God dang it. No more locked doors. The gate is also closed. It's closed. Hey, aren't you listening? Weren't you supposed to let us through? What's this? I thought you were slow-witted, but it turns out you're just impatient, huh? I haven't finished putting on my face. I just rolled out of bed after all. Oh, well, please make sure you do that. Huh? Well, never mind all that. Sanders should receive their punishment in due order, don't you think? I mean, that way it sets the mood for the whole thing, don't you think? Stop telling me, don't you think? It annoys me. It's better get every... What? Uh, oh, I'd better get everything set up. You two should get ready too, to receive your punishment at us. I left the room in question the lock for you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Which means... Uh, what's all that supposed to mean? Shall we head to the room for the time being? Yes, let's do that. What the hell happened to all my saves? What the? What? Oh, right, because this is a whole new game. I don't know if you guys actually have this game or have ever played it before, but the way they do it is that it's one game that controls four games. I've never seen anything like it. It's very bizarre. It's also really annoying because sometimes it doesn't transition directly between like different things. Can I just go through one of these doors? That'd be great. Oh. A bordered background mugshot is what defines a criminal, right? So, take your mugshot for me. Ah, uh -huh. mugshot? That's a picture of your mug, Isaac. Never had yours taken before, huh? How lovely. I'll make a half-hearted promise to post it on my fridge. Indeed, the same goes for you, Rachel. Show me your photogenic side. Oh, and don't forget to take it while holding a... Oh. Pia card? Oh, placard. What? I want to hold a placard. Oh, this is such bullshit. Oh, fuck. Ray's looking forward to it. Ray has a good photogenic side. I bet Isaac doesn't have any photogenic ability at all. Where are these placards? Photos of several people are scattered everywhere. The people in the photographs are each holding what appears to be a mugshot placard. Where are the placards? There we go. They appear to be a mugshot placard. Put them on. Hey, what do those say? Our names are written on them. Really? 
Our names? Well, it's for a mugshot, so... I think we'd need to put these around our necks and take the photo. Fuck that. I want to wear Zach's. Two placards with Ray and Zach's name. Written on them. Hey, is a name written on that? Yes, that's right. Which one is it? I... It's nothing. Oh, he can't read. What a silly man. That's too bad. Maybe you can only recognize really, really simple things. Okay, I'm ready. There's a camera. How are we supposed to take it with this? Zach, take my picture! Daz, pushing the shutter, take a photo. Fuck if I know. I've never taken a photo or had mine taken. Okay, then I should take mine first. Huh? So, why in the fuck do I gotta get my photo taken for? Because the person controlling all the doors says we have to. So we can keep going. Not a fan of photos. Ah, oh, shit. Fine. Okay, then. I'll take yours once you're ready, okay? I'm, I'm ready. Do I have to put the... Oh. Shall I take yours? Fine. Hey, smile for me, Zach. Hell yeah. Oh, God! Hey, if you're gonna do it, then make it snappy. Stay still. Not like I give a shit. Just take it for crying out loud. It'll come out blurry. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's not like this is some passport photo. Fine, hold still. There you go. You're welcome. Forever. Do I press this? Yeah. This sucks so hard. What do we gotta do this for? Ah, uh, don't push the button too hard. It'll make the camera shake. God damn it. You ruined my picture. Fuck. Let me see the pictures. Let me see them, please, please, please. Let me see them, please, please. I knew it. It's blurry. Good enough. No, you have to take it again. Yeah, I think I heard a sound over there. Now we should be able to move on. No, I want to see him. Let me see the fucking pictures. There's something just push the button to take a photo. Indeed. Huh. That's more fun than I thought. Plus, it's easy. That doesn't mean it come out good, though. Uh, what are you doing killing my bus for? You're the one who said push the button to take it. Yeah, but we, I also said don't shake the fucking camera. Okay, I guess we don't get to see it. You get to see it? Please, I want to see him. Oh, come on. I bet Zach didn't even smile. He doesn't take me for the guy that would smile for a picture. He would just glare at it. To look all tough. To look all tough and stuff. What? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh cool. Yeah, demonic things on the wall. That's fine. A series of drawings are scribbled on the wall. Blark. What a piss poor excuse of a drawing. It's like someone smeared shit on the wall. Zach, you're like a poet. It appears to be a picture of someone sitting in a chair. Mm hmm. Oh, an agonizing face. Uh huh. Impaled on spikes. Okie dokie. Appears to be a picture of a syringe. And. It appears to be a picture of a smiling woman. I like this one. That's my favorite so far. Um, okay. Did you by chance catch the wall artwork? Yeah, it sucked. I've got such wonderful punishments in store for both of you. Isn't that lovely? With drawing skills like that, the only thing lovely will be when they're erased. How cruel! I put my heart and soul into them. But enough about that. More importantly, I'm giving each of you a bit of a choice. Ah, uh, what do you mean? Didn't you know that condemnation comes in a variety of forms? <laughs> How does eternal imprisonment strike you? There, you can leisurely spend your days productively thinking over your sins. What? Such tormenting punishments await you above. However... Beyond the iron bars before you awaits a lovely new life, rotting away in eternal imprisonment. So, what do you say? Who the fuck in their right mind would want to do something like that? Too bad all I wanted was to keep you for the rest of your lives. 
The offer still stands if you change your mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. What, you think I'm just gonna sign my life over like some dumbass? Eternal imprisonment death would not be swift, I think. Hey, don't even give this bitch the time of day. Act like she doesn't exist. Let's keep going. We can't act like she doesn't exist. She's opening the doors sequentially as we do her stupid little puzzles. Get in there. Go through there. Go, I want to, I want to see what happens. Is this the first punishment room? Even if it is, we got no choice but to keep going. That's absolutely right. What's in the first punishment room? The door's been locked. Huh, does everyone around here have some sort of sick door locking fetish or something? Come on. Look at the Legend of Zelda in here. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I have no idea what those are. Graves? Huh? What? An electric fucking chair! What? There's so many chairs. What's sitting in the chairs, people? Dolls? And that chair in the center. Ah, oh, yet another place that makes no freaking sense. Ah, uh, don't say it. No, don't do it, though. No. Zach, don't be an idiot. Okay, here we go. Saving before he kills himself. Okay. Zach, you should sit in that chair. So, they're all dolls, huh? So it seems. At any rate, got thinking about how to get through here. Okay, I will do that. Just to be safe, you should take a look around too. Will do. Just like break the dolls or something. That would probably. All right, sitting it. There's a chair strapped with cords and restricted by sitting it. Something smells like it's burning. Yeah, probably because someone got incinerated in there. It looks like some sort of machine, but it isn't functioning. Rap, rap, rap. Okay, get me out of here. Zach, what you doing? Find anything worth mentioning. There's a door on the other side, but a wall's blocking the way. Then how the fuck did you know that there's a door there? And you still didn't smash it because... Ah, uh, listen, punk, the mun's made of... Oh, the, this wall's made of iron and I can't smash it. Oh. Insult his manhood. Get him angry. Aren't you the one who said that iron can't be destroyed? It can be. You just gotta do it right. You gotta hit it at structural weak points. You gotta get steel to break iron, right? Isn't I think that's how it works. Dynamite. A pickaxe. Rags and cleaning things are strown about. Quite a rag. What are we gonna use a rag for? Hold on. A rag found in a locker is quite dirty. This rag's filthy. It's not even fit for cleaning. Oh. Are we gonna do that thing from, like, that one movie, Shanghai Noon, where we, like, pee on the rag and then break the iron bars? That was the weirdest scene in that entire movie. If you haven't seen that movie, there's a scene where, like, Jackie Chan pees on a rag to get out of jail. And he does that because he's like, oh, it'll break if we use it to get out of here before we pee on it. It makes it strong. And then Owen Wilson's like, yeah. Okay, then you just do that. And they ask get, like, a massage to relax. It's weird. The doll is sitting so it faces the center of the room. Okay, we're we just going to talk to every single one. This one's special. The room might be like, oh, wait. This room looks like it might be hiding something. But everything seems to be fixated there with no sign of budging. All the dolls up here motionless too. Maybe I'll let Zack know. He's not gonna be happy. He'll get over it though. Okay, funny story real quick here before I go and talk to Zack. Cause I was gonna talk about the trip just very briefly. Cause one of the things I like to do when I go on a trip is I like to go and see, I don't know what about this room made me think about it because in reality, there's literally nothing in this room that made me think of this. It's just that's how my brain works. Maybe it was the dolls. Anyway, hear the story, then maybe you can decide. I went, um, well, I'm not going to say where I went because, because of rules I have set for myself. But I went to the ocean, and one of my favorite things to do uh, when going and traveling is to try some local stuff. I've talked about this once before, I went, where I go and try tea. I don't like beer as much, but I like tea, coffee, and kombucha is what I've been getting into lately. And um, I was going to try some of the local kombucha there. And I got this, it was kind of this weird little bottle where it was like a little hinge where you open it. It would pop open, and they're like, oh, be careful, it can get pressurized. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh huh, I've drunk a lot of kombucha, pal. And um, I went back to the car, and I was like, hmm, I wonder, like, how shook up this was or something like that. Because I could tell, you know how if you touch a bottle that's really full, it's like, it just feels more firm or something like that. I don't know how to exactly explain it, but I popped it open, and it, there's, like, this brief moment, like, when you're about to die where your, eye, like, your life flashes before your eyes. And I, like, got a miniature version of that because the kombucha bottle, like, literally fucking exploded inside the car. And the people I was traveling with were just like, Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? 
I'm like, I just wanted some kombucha. It's like it's giant volcano pumping all over the back seat and the front seat just going fucking everywhere. And uh, I felt really bad about it. And then the car smelled like raspberry kombucha the rest of the trip. But you know what? That's a very pleasant smell. I have no idea what made me think of that. But anyway, back to the fucking game. You find something. Now, uh, um, did you even look? I uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, so, no clue about a way out, huh? Yeah, about that. I want you to slash all these souls. Damn. Do it, do it, do it. What? What? Now he's all upset. Hey, are you sure there's nothing? Not sure, but what I do know is that I've yet to find any kind of clue. Quit messing with me. If there's nothing here, then how about I start smashing everything? Wouldn't that be faster? Yes, do it. There's no evidence against... Oh, suggesting so. Uh, no evidence. There's no evidence I... Oh, to say I can't smash. Something's going off the screen. Mind holding that thought for a bit. Oh, man, I'm pissed. Just, I'm gonna sit... No, God, no, Zach, don't sit there, no! Get up! Get up! Oh, fuck. No way forward and no way back. Man, this shit is so fucking tiring. Hey, I was sitting in a chair if I were you. Huh, <laughs> put a sock in and I'm out of it. You're gonna get... You're gonna be barbecue deck. Okay. Can I sit on your lap? And we can get fried together. Turn it on. Oh my god, there needs to be some way to turn it on. I got... Oh, I'd get out of that chair if I were you. What's the big deal? You couldn't find anything around here, right? But that chair... Huh? What about this chair? It's a fucking electric chair! It's probably for execution. An electric chair. What? Ah! Ah, what the fuck? Ray, don't just stand there. Do something. Use the rag and clean his face. Okay, hang on a second. Uh-oh. Oh, God. What? What? Greetings. My apologies. I can't be there in person. I condemn the guilty on this floor. Don't forget it. I'll be the last thing you ever see. Kathy. Well, my sinful duo, are you enjoying yourselves? I mean, I guess. Oh, goodness! Zack sat in that chair, huh? Shit, hey, you bitch, get me out of this thing. Surely you jest, I'm afraid the dust- Oh, that just won't happen. What kind of executioner lets their convicts free? Zack, my boy. I get giddy at the thought of seeing how well a monster like you can withstand my punishment. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Hi, what just happened? Why, Zack, what could be the matter? That hurts you, bitch! Oh, good. Incredible, your life force is so strong. A wonderful murdering monster. Oh, you're the perfect specimen of sinner. Shut the fuck up! Get this thing off me so I can wipe that fucked up smile off your face. Raw. Well, I'll leave the electric chair on lots of lovely bolts continue to course through your body. In the meantime, Rachel Gardner can find a way to deactivate it. Oh, good idea. If you're lucky, then who knows? I might even let you both through here. Wow, you're gonna die. Oh, God. Stop it. He won't survive. Oh, well, hello, my child. Does it not captivate you to learn how much of a tenacious monster of a sinner that Zack is? Besides, 
Do you think that a sinner has any say in this? Well then, let the punishment begin. Ladies and gentlemen. What? Relish the despicable sinners writhing in agony. Hey, Ray. You know what you gotta do, right? You gotta do this or you won't be holding up your end of the bargain. Don't screw up. Prove your usefulness to me. But let me murder this sadistic crazy bitch. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to run around, huh? Okay, I'll do what I can. Here we go. Ah, the loathing gaze of the audience upon the sinner. That gaze is the virtue of the sinner's demise. Here the eyes of the spectators exact the punishment. <laughs> All right. Now let the fun begin. Eyes of the spectators. Doesn't mean these dolls are the spectators. Hmm, what to do? Break the shit out of them. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. This rag's filthy. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, shit. Just leave. Just get out of here. Bye. Damn it. Um, okay. We're gonna use... Nothing. Nothing. Oh, God. Zack. Oh, God. I have a feeling that he's gonna be okay for at least a little while, though. The beard's it's hanging its head. This doll is a movie. Plus, it's hanging its head. Does it want it? Not want to face forward? Oh, turn it backwards. No, oh, hurry up. I will. What? Oh, I get it. We have to go in order. Now we're supposed to do. Okay, you just keep going. Is the current weakening? Um, it doesn't really look like it. I'll check it out. Hurry your ass up! I'll do my best. They're all still moving their head. I feel like the electric curtain is slightly weakened. Zach, how is it? How's what? Still got a ways to go. Maybe I need to have more dolls look away. Ah, no! Hang in there. I don't understand why that one was. Like, it's too fast or something? You know very well what happens if I die, d -d don't ya? If you die, then it's hopeless for me. I can't let that happen. It's absolutely right. It's hopeless for me on an emotional level as well. I knew it. The electric current is weakening. But how do I make the rest of the dolls look away from the electric chair? If I could just get the dolls' heads to move... Come to think of it, doesn't Zack have a scythe? I'll kill you, kill you, kill you. Kill who? Shut up, don't answer me! Now hurry up and save me. Um, Zack, I need your scythe, bro. Is it any better, Zack? Ah! Are you fucking with me? Hey, can I borrow your scythe? Oh, throw your scythe at me. Ah! Throw it here, I need it for something. Damn you there, now do something! Okay, thanks. I can't reach it, you fuck. I can't move! The rest is up to you! Ah! Oh, you poor guy. It's hot. I can't touch it directly. Uh-huh. Thank you. I know how to play a game. Stupid. Ah, if I grip it with this rag. There we go. Ah, uh, hell yeah. Acquired Zack side. Now, leave. Okay. Wow, this is heavenly. Probably won't be making any clean slashes like Zack. I'll do it again. Oh my god. Oh yeah, let's just move microscopically fast. Got it off! Shit! You can be as loud as you want. Talk to me if you're still alive. Man, you're selfish! Don't you know I'm dying over here? Glad to know you're okay. Zach, I'll have you know that I'm trying very difficult. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm public shift and everything. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh, this poor guy. He's gonna need a health potion or something. I wonder if this is actually losable. Here, two more. Come on. Our, our buddy Zach is not doing so hot. Or maybe he is. Actually, he's burning. He's going. He's going. Get over there. Get over there. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, okay. Woo! Did it! Oh, God. You're welcome. It stopped. Is Zach okay? I mean, we got his scythe, so I guess we're gonna be fine either. anyway. Oh god, he is not fucking fine. Oh, he is not okay. There are bars are unlocked. <sighs> Zach, are you okay? Zach? Hey. What the hell took you so long, a little longer, and I would- Oh, and a drop of my piss would have powered the world for a thousand fucking years! So you're alive. Ding, ding, ding! What do we have for her, Johnny? Thank goodness. I wouldn't know what to do if you died. Stupid as if you die. Oh, I'd die so easy. Incredible! Simply incredible, he survived. I knew it. It's the resilience of murderous monsters that make them so alluring. Oh, what an exemplary, perfect specimen you are, Zack. You're creepy, dude. To tell the truth, I hope to witness the very moment that life leaves your body. Seeing her work so hard has convinced me to be nice this time. You may pass through. Thanks. Besides, punishment for one's sins is not a one-time thing. One must be punished for as many sins committed. Isn't that lovely? Wait, but if you murdered someone, how are you supposed to be murdered multiple times? You sadistic bitch! That stupid-ass chuckle of yours pisses me off! If you weren't hiding safely behind that monitor, I'd have sliced you up good. Ray would too. Hey, give me that back. Okay. What the? What the fuck is this? There's some kind of junk all over it. I used it to cut the heads off the dolls. What are you? Some sort of dog-killing psychopath. What the hell were you doing? It seems a mechanism had to do with the doll's gaze, so I made them face away from you and then also cut off their heads. You may use my side for some weird shit, and I turn into an electric eel. It's just one damn thing after another. It's half your own fault. Shut up. It's you who needs to be more careful. What the f- no, you need to not sit in electric chairs. Let's get going. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. I'm gonna put you back in there. Get you electrocuted and barbecued all over the place. <laughs>